the best way to practice nomenclature of branch alkanes is to get into isomers. Uh, structural isomers, they have the same molecular formula, different structures, Lewis dot structures, different unique names, and also different physical properties. So let's go after heptane. Heptane has seven carbons and then you have twice as much hydrogen plus two additional one, so that makes it 16. So this is heptane, and the first isomer is the normal heptane, so I write it as CH3 attached to CH2s. Make sure I wrote seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is heptane. Now to save some time, I'm also going to show the line model. Each ending is a carbon and each junction is a carbon also. So this is CH3, CH2, and then we draw it in a zigzag form. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is heptane in a line format. The second isomer is now heptane is exhausted, so I'm going to go after the uh, backbone of hexane, and I put my uh, s uh, branch on the second carbon. So I show it as CH3CH, then attached to a CH3 down here, CH2, 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 CH3. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the second carbon, I have a methyl group, so I'm going to lay out the nomenclature to methyl, last name hexane, and it's all in one word. Now the line representation was easier, but let's just get used to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the second carbon, I put a methyl like this. Hopefully you are getting used to it. Soon I just do line structure. The third isomer I'm going to do is move this methyl to the third carbon and I'm totally producing a new structure. CH, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Now this time I have one, two, three, a methyl group and hexane. So this is three methyl, hexane, then the line structure should be six of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you have a methyl group. Now, uh, just remember you cannot put it on the fourth one and call it four methyl, because then the numbering comes in the reverse and it becomes three methyl again. So the fourth isomer I'm going to, to make is now, there is no possibility for hexane, so let's just shrink it further and have a pentane. Now let's go after line models. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You have two more carbons left, so we can go after, put both of them on the second one. One up here, one down here. So this is two comma two dimethyl pentane. It is an uh, isomer of heptane because you still have seven carbon, 16 hydrogen only. Uh, the fifth isomer is again after pentane. Now I can put it on the second carbon and the third carbon, a methyl and a methyl. This is two comma three dimethyl pentane. The sixth isomer is still on pentane, one, two, three, four, five, and you can have on second one and the fourth carbon, so this becomes two, four, dimethyl pentane. Now, these are totally different structures with totally different uh, properties. Now, the seventh isomer is I can go after pentane one more time and put one methyl on the third and another methyl on the third on the reverse. So this is 3,3-dimethyl three, three, pentane. Now let's go after uh, another isomer, uh, the eighth isomer still on pe uh, pentane, one, two, three, four, five. And now you can have an ethyl. So this is 3-ethyl pentane. 
This one I'm going to open the structure so you see what this line structure looks like. It's a CH3. This junction here is CH2. Then here you have CH and you have a branch of C2H5. This is this broken line representing. Then a CH2 and finally you end with CH3. Now the last isomer is uh, pentane is also exhausted. So I go after butane, one, two, three, four. And what I can do is put a methyl on the second and one methyl uh, on the third and another methyl on the second. So this is two comma two comma three hyphen. You have three methyls, so spell it as tri methyl rather than methyl methyl methyl. And your backbone is one, two, three, four. It's a butane. Now this one I'm also going to elaborate. This was the last isomer of heptane. There is no other possibility. And if you create something, you are just doing redundancy. So be careful with nomenclature and practice. I put CH3, this CH3 I put in parenthesis, and then I end it with CH3. So heptane has nine isomers, you practice it as well, and become expert in nomenclature of alkanes.